Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of our dinner ideas. I've done this before a couple of times and it was pretty fun to do. Just sharing some of the things we eat in a week. Maybe it'll give you some good ideas for what to have for dinner. I know I kind of get stuck in a rut of what to have sometimes, so I always like these kind of videos to give me fresh inspiration. So here we go. Tonight for dinner we are having sausage and apple stuffed stuffing <laughs> and butternut squash with some rice. Um, originally the recipe is supposed to be this sausage mixture stuffed inside squash and all that, but it's just easier to have squash on the plate with the stuffing on top of some rice. Kind of makes it go a little bit further and cuts the spiciness of the sausage. This is something I made ahead yesterday and so I'm just warming it up now. I'm really glad I meal prepped two dinners yesterday because today was a day that I needed it. How's the squash? Yeah. Really delish? I like it. It's from our own homegrown squash. Tonight for dinner we are having Tuscan chicken mac and cheese. This is really delicious with some of our own sun-dried tomatoes in there. It's supposed to have spinach, but I didn't have any today. Is this your favorite meal ever? Yeah. One of them. It's gonna be pretty delish. Probably should have something to go with it. Maybe some applesauce or something. I don't got fork! Or maybe we'll have a banana. I'll give you a fork. Alright, so I missed a few of our last few dinners. I'm just going to explain why I missed them. One was fish tacos, and I really wasn't expecting it to turn out well. I was using this frozen fish from Aldi, and I thought it was just going to be kind of yucky. It was just going to be food. It ended up turning out really well, so I'll link the recipe for that down below. Um, another recipe I tried was this paprika chicken with mangoes, and it just wasn't amazing. We ate it, but it wasn't amazing. Um, and I also tried making butternut squash ravioli. Completely failed on that one. I didn't roll my dough thin enough so they were chewy. Forgot to add the Parmesan cheese to the filling and it wasn't amazing. And yeah, it's not something I'm going to make again. So fail there. I also made pizza one night and that was really good. Um, yeah, we'll do that again. <laughs> pizza is a good standby. Tonight we are having chicken alfredo. One of our all time favorites. And well, you'll get it with everyone. Ta-da! There we go. She wants to show off her food. Um, and broccoli and chicken and um, sauce and broccoli and spaghetti. Yeah. What did you think was wrong with your spaghetti in the sauce? The chicken. Well, what colored sauce did you think you should have? Red. Yeah, she wants spaghetti sauce. But she likes this as well. Right? I want skin. We'll have it sometime soon. Tonight for dinner we are having salad wraps. We made some homemade tortillas. You could just use regular tortillas. That'd be fine. Um, so I just have lettuce, tomatoes, cheddar cheese, chicken. Here. And a homemade dressing of olive oil, garlic, Dijon mustard, and Parmesan cheese. Tonight for dinner we are having this bruschetta chicken. Um, it's got herbs and lemon juice on the chicken with mozzarella cheese and a fresh bruschetta made from cherry tomatoes, basil, garlic, lemon juice, that sort of thing. We're also having mashed potatoes with it and roasted eggplant, peppers, onions, and a little bit of Parmesan cheese. For dessert, we are having eggplant crisp. Sounds a little weird, but it's pretty good. And for our last dinner of the week, we are having cheesy grits with Cajun saucy chicken. I'm not really, I forget the name of it. Basically, Cajun seasoned chicken with peppers and onions and mushrooms with a chicken broth sauce. It's pretty good. Thanks for watching this video. We hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.